Today I'm going to show you how to make a roast chicken with some roasted potatoes. The first thing you're going to need is a whole chicken. They're pretty cheap. Um, you can get them at the store. Um, the next thing is some lemons, herbs, some spices of your choice, definitely salt and pepper. Um, you can also use dried herbs. Um, then onion and some potatoes. So I have rusted potatoes here, which work fine. These are a little bit cheaper. Or you can use some fingerling potatoes or other small potatoes. And then last but not least are some vegetables. So examples of vegetables would be broccoli, Brussels sprouts, eggplant, or another kind of vegetable of your choice, or you could do those separately. Okay, so next um, I wanted to show you how to cut potatoes. So what I did is I cut it um, kind of lengthwise like this, and then I'm going to wedge them and put them um, into this with a lot of the other vegetables and potatoes that I already cut up. Now what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to make sure that I season them with a good amount of salt, pepper, and olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, you can use another type of oil. Um, that's going to help you to make these vegetables cook faster and with more flavor. Okay, so I got all my vegetables in here and I put some um, salt, pepper, olive oil, and a little bit of thyme. You don't have to have the thyme, but definitely salt, pepper, olive oil on there. Um, and the next thing we're going to do is work on our chicken. So some of the spices that I brought out to season my chicken is definitely salt, pepper. And then I like mine a little spicy, so chipotle, paprika, cumin, and some garlic. But you could definitely use whatever spices you have in the fridge. This dish is super easy and also it can be made in a variety of ways. So use um, whatever spices you have on hand to um, season the chicken. So we're going to get to the chicken next. So what I did next is I made a mixture of all my spices and a little bit of lemon, olive oil, salt, pepper. I put paprika and cayenne in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it all over my chicken and I'm going to even save these lemons and stuff them inside my chicken so that they can have some more flavor. So I put a little bit of um, olive oil on the chicken too. That just helps with some browning. And then you're just going to take your mixture and you're going to spoon it right on top of your chicken. Alright, so I put all my spices on the chicken, and as you can see, I stuffed my lemons right in the middle of my chicken. That's going to help to um, give it some flavor. Um, and then what I'm going to do is, I know it sounds crazy, but put the chicken on top of the vegetables as a one-dish cooking. The reason why I do that is because what's going to fall off the chicken is going to be the chicken fat, and that's going to help the vegetables and potatoes to cook in it. It's going to give it some flavor. And also it's less cleaning. I know you might think that it's a little bit crazy to put chicken on top of vegetables to cook, but I guarantee you it is a safe way. So I got my chicken on top of my vegetables. I'm going to put this into a 450 degree oven and I'm going to flip the chicken halfway through cooking. I'm going to turn it on its back. Um, the reason why I cook it at such a high temperature is because I want the chicken to brown and so that it's faster to cook. This will cook for about 45 minutes to an hour. Here's about halfway through the cooking time. I'm gonna take the chicken out and flip it and then put it back in. You can really see that the, the potatoes and vegetables are cooking underneath while the chicken have got a little bit brown up top. So you just take it and you're gonna to wanna to flip it over to its back side. Get that part a little bit browned up too. Then you're going to put it right back in the oven for about another 30 minutes. Here it is right out of the oven. You can tell it's a little bit browned on both sides. The vegetables are nice and crispy and cooked through. All we're going to do now is carve it up and serve the vegetables alongside it.
The best part about this dish is I already fed three people and look how much leftovers I have. This is a good dish to make for two days in a row. You just reheat it even in the oven or the stove. And the other good part about this dish is I used my chicken bones to make stock. So you just add in an onion, any leftover vegetable pieces that you have um, from making this dish to begin with or anything that you find in the fridge. I use onion, carrot, celery. I use the parsley ends that I put on the potatoes. Um, anything that you can find in the fridge, really throw it in your stock and then you can have soup for the whole rest of the week. You can simmer your stock for about eight hours and when it's ready, you can put it in the fridge, skim off the fat the next day and it's ready to go.